What's up guys, it's Ipe. So a little while ago, someone commented to do a Supreme skateboard setup video, and I told him if I got a Supreme board, I would probably not skate it, just because of how valuable Supreme is. And because I'm so into Supreme these days, I was like, you know, I might reconsider it. And I actually did a poll on Instagram and I asked if I should cop or drop the Supreme board. At the time, 63% of the people said to cop, while 37% of the people said to drop meaning don't get the board. And yeah, while 63% is still higher than 50%, I still was, you know, going back and forth, should I get it or not? Because it's expensive because, you know, Supreme has a high resale price and I go through my boards so quick. So I was like, is it really necessary? And I'm always skating permitted boards because you know, that's just the company I back a lot. So I was like, it's gonna be so weird skating a different board other than Primitive, but I was like, I'll just go with the flow of what my followers wanted me to do. But there was just this one man, my man, Kelly Wakasa, he said to drop. So I was like, I need to get the board. So I got the freaking board and this board is a size A, right? And this box looks a little tiny for a size A board. So if I got scammed, you guys are gonna see it firsthand. While it's probably gonna be funny for you guys, I'm gonna be bummed. So let's see this. Hopefully it's not fake. Cause I mean, this is a size A board guys. And look how much space there is. That's how much it's popping out from the box. And they're both size A. I mean, I got it off grailed, so I don't think it's a scam, but if it is, that guy's gonna get a neck. <laughs> oh my god, do you guys see a board? <gasps> it's a Supreme board. It's the Gons one. First impression, it looks pretty good. Actually, it's kind of flat, but I think I could get used to it. It comes with the Supreme box logo sticker. The only thing I don't like about the graphic is how Supreme is spelled because, you know, if people don't know about this graphic, people are going to be like, do not know how to spell Supreme. But yeah, I guess that's how Mark Gonzalez used to spell Supreme or something, or that's how he spells it. That's why it's spelled like this. But super sick graphic, you know, this design over a red wood grain board hopefully lasts for a while because I heard they break fast or something. At least that's what one of my followers said. When some of my friends say I might have the worst luck, I honestly think it's true. I started out my morning with a hole in my brand new shirt. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, right there. Brand new. I don't know how this happens. Like, how? 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 I mean, this happened a few months ago with a brand new shirt, and this kind of stuff only happens to me. Best part of all that is that I'm at the skate park where I got my camera jacked. I just think it's so funny that throughout my videos lately, it's just all about my homies getting jacked by gangsters, and now I'm bringing it up about my past. So yeah, point proven. Hashtag bad luck eBay. My goal for today's session is to land at least one new trick, hoping it's a nolly heel flip 50-50 or a nolly flip 50-50, and I'm gonna do the trick on this tiny ledge, not this ledge. This one's for, I don't know, people in Texas, because you know what they say about people in Texas. Big trucks. Hey, I'm just gonna film some warm ups and hopefully land a new trick. Enjoy. Last team, Veronica Camaro. A good way to motivate yourself to go for a trick is by doing it for your woman crush Wednesday. So this one's for Veronica Camaro. Ah! It still works, guys. No bull. Like right here for her again. Like literally, she was right there. Ah! Ah! 
moments later. Alright guys, just doing it for her, things are working out, like thinking about her, this is very crucial. Imagine if she's sitting right there and you want to make sure you land it, so this one's for her, Ronnie Camaro. <laughs> I don't know what that was. All right guys, cut me some slack. I know I was going super slow. I honestly started getting really scared trying the trick after I took that slam because I did not expect that and actually hurt my back really bad. But I'm all good, I'm hyped because I landed the trick for you guys. You guys like actually motivated me to actually land the trick because I was like, I can't use these clips if I don't land that trick, you know? It's, it's gonna look like I'm a failure, you know? You gotta keep trying until you land it. I mean, it doesn't always go that way, but it's good to have that mindset. And I was actually serious about that tip about the Woman Crush Wednesday thing. That actually works almost every single time, at least just to like go for it. Yeah, go tag Veronica Camaro, you know, she might like, Notice me for once. So right now I'm going to an art museum that's literally down the street from the skate park. It's called the Museo, I believe. And the only reason I'm going there is because I'm an art student and I have to do an assignment for that class. So I have to go check out some galleries and write an essay on it. Hopefully I can film in there just to show you guys what kind of art there is. The art place was actually pretty cool. It's like my first time going to an actual museum. That's cool, I never knew there was a spot here. All right, actor right now, I just wanna say, go send this man some shoes. Dope, it's Wes. I actually want one of you guys to actually send him shoes because I've been trying to get someone to send him shoes from my channel for like the longest time ever. Size 10, right? Yep. I'm actually an actor Chino and this freaking active is huge. You want canvas? So I ended up getting a butter good shirt. Super stoked because they're usually expensive, but I'm just gonna say more bad luck today. My earphones broke. Now I have to get new ones, which is such a waste of money. So now, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, the board setup portion. I'm super excited to try out the Supreme board. I've been dying to switch out this board for over three weeks. I broke this board in the setup video for this board. I just wanna say thanks for the support if you guys have seen that video. Oh my gosh, I was looking for my hardware the whole entire time and it was stuck to the grip tape. That is so insane. I was hoping I don't have to use like new hardware. But yeah, I actually cracked this board in that video trying to do a lip slide. I swear if lip slide was a person, he'd be a foamy. But yeah, I might just give it to a friend that needs a board or somebody who wants a sign or something because there's people who ask for a signed board for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, maybe I'll do it for a 10K subscriber giveaway. I'm actually giving away another board for 10K subs. So subscribe. I'm trying to get 10K by the end of the year. So subscribe. But yeah, this isn't just a regular subscribe setup video it's a snapchat Q&A setup video so I asked people on my story to send me a video of you guys asking me a question for a snapchat Q&A if you guys aren't following me on my socials ep underscore morita oh yeah and I got the iPhone 10 and I'll definitely talk about how I got it in the next video so stay tuned for that because it's a good story this is crazy I bet a lot of skaters are gonna be mad that I'm skating a supreme board and also a lot of hype beasts but you know you just gotta do what you love just do what you want to do but yeah I got grizzly grip I feel like I should cut it out and keep the world famous but you know we got time for that I wish I could actually set up this board outside but it is freezing so I'm really sorry. The first question is from the homie Ash, huge supporter of mine. He used to talk to me all the time. Hey, what's up, EP? Might be a stupid question, but uh, do you fingerboard? I don't fingerboard. I don't really have anything against it. I suck at it, but you know, maybe I will one day. People will tell me to make fingerboard videos, but I don't really have any interest in it, so I don't see that happening, but I'm open to it. If someone sends me an actual fingerboard, maybe I'll get into it. Oh yeah, and I didn't know what a hype beast really was. I always thought it was just anyone who rocks like Supreme and all that stuff, but I think Hype beasts are actually people who buy it just for the hype. I actually only buy stuff if I like the design. It'd be kind of pointless to spend money on something that you don't really like, but you just get into it just because like everyone's wearing it, you know? And I actually like Supreme stuff, so for all the haters, I ain't doing it just to flex. Oh, almost a perfect cut. 
What the heck? I mean, this isn't a video, but someone asked me if I had any suicidal thoughts. In this game, have you ever tried a boosted board or hoverboard? No, I really want to. That sounds so fun. I don't think I would ever own one. Maybe if I ever go to New York, that's like one of my dream places to go. Fun fact, back in middle school, New York was like my dream place to live just because call that the city that never sleeps, you know? I don't sleep as much and I'm always up really late. So I was like, dude, I really want to experience that city life where just everyone's awake the whole day. But I doubt that's true. Setting up a war is tiring. Alright, this is the homie Josue and I'm pretty sure he doesn't watch my videos and he just probably said something for fun, but let's see. Why do you suck? I did not expect him to even ask a question. Why I suck? It is what it is. I don't even want to skate anymore. The other day I filmed a Supreme unboxing and I posted on my Snapchat story and a lot of people said make Supreme videos and like do an unboxing or whatever. But I didn't really know what to do it and I actually like Supreme and all that stuff. So a lot of people make like Supreme opinions on like drops and all that stuff. Let me know if you guys want to see that because the year a lot of people are actually into the hype and like all the Supreme stuff. I mean, he sounds like a little kid. It's so sad when little kids just use those kind of words. What's your favorite setup? I get this question all the time. If you guys have seen pretty much all my setup videos, it's pretty much the same thing all the time. I always write Thunder Trucks, Spitfire Wheels, Underlay Bearings, Primitive Board, Grizzly Grip, and Diamond Hardware. What's the fastest you ever changed a full setup? World record time. I have no clue, but we're going to do that one day just because of that. I hope it's not too late, homie, but, uh, uh, who's your favorite pro? It switches a lot. I think Shane O'Neal just because I'm so into primitive now, and he's just the NBD god. What did butt pack smell like yesterday? <laughs> As a homie Nick, we're singing in Nick's car and we're squished and damn, he smelled like B.O. I cannot stand B.O. Even my B.O. If I smell B.O., I'm gonna pass out. I can't hear anything. What's up, BP? How long have you been skating for? Eight years, I believe. Why don't you skate Bones wheels? Bones wheels are super good. I really like them. It just Spitfires were the first wheels I've ever skated and that's just a, my favorite logo. Would you ever ride for Grizzly Group Tape? Honestly, I don't think I'd ever ride for a company unless it's like YouTube based. So like the only companies I'd probably be down to get hooked up by are like Vive, 3 Block, and Fortune from the YouTube companies I know of. I would love to get hooked up by Grizzly, like just like a hookup, but I would never want to ride for them just because I don't see myself being good enough. It just, with Revive, Fortune, and 3 Block, it just, they have YouTube riders. Another company I really want to get hooked up by is Primitive. I never would want to ride for them, but I would want to be friends with them one day and probably even make videos with them one day. I don't think it could ever happen, but that'd be sick if I can get boards from them just for like shining them out all the time and just repping their stuff. And this is the last question from Peter Grushio. How has skateboarding changed you? I guess skateboarding made me start YouTube, so that's like really good. And I made great friends through it, I believe. And it gave me something to do other than just staying home all the time. So I love it. It's like it gave me a bunch of different connections with people. So I don't regret it one bit. So there we go. I might not even put stickers on this board just because the graphic is so clean and it just got the wood grain. I don't know. I just like it kind of basic like this, but I probably will tomorrow actually just because I feel like I can't skate without stickers on my board it's just like one of those mental things and yeah i would do a kickflip test but i don't want to do it in here i'll do it in the next video which should be a skate test with the supreme board and i'll probably do a supreme board review too for anyone who wants that and again i really want to hit 10k subs this year so please hit the subscribe button but yeah i'm definitely going to be giving away a board and some other stuff as well but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe thanks yo peace out i fell in love with supreme activists got me on this what what i'm in the a with the team niggas know we get the breeze What's up guys, my name's Ipe and this is Jack Lasty. Oh! <laughs>